can just ask any questions anytime, okay? <coughs> uh, this is the normal layout you will have. Uh, mostly we use the mouse. Uh, we don't use the keyboard very often, but to move around, it's two possibilities. You can scroll with the mouse, and then you see here, with the blue uh, square, where we are in the vessel. And you can go over here and you can point the mouse to where you want to look. So if you want to look at the bridge, you just click uh, here. And then all the detectors are in the graphics. A normal uh, multi-sensor detector is blue, as you can see here. Mm -hmm. You get the, the SMV value. This value will rise if you have smoke inside and you see the temperature in that cabin. So we can check in the engine. Uh, let's see. Back here. Oh, it's still 18 there. Yeah. Pretty cold down there. Yes, I saw some spaces. Uh, Maybe our curry room. And where is that? Um, somewhere here. Yeah, there you see it's 29. So you can easily read the temperatures here. And let's say now you have a fire. <coughs> you can take an example in the cabin. If you have a fire here, the cabin will get uh, red. Also the cabin? Yeah, the whole area here. The wow. detector and the cabin will get red. And then if the smoke moves this way, this cabin will get first get yellow. You want. More and more smoke, it will get red in the end. That way you can see where the smoke uh, is spreading. Yeah. Yeah. Which one is going, yeah. yeah. But in, uh, you can also see uh, where the real fire is. Because if it's very hot in here, it will get um, purple. So this well, cabin... original fire. Yeah, you will see the purple color here. Mm -hmm. and that is where the temperature is highest. So that you can go directly to that <laughs> and... Uh, Stand of fire. Yeah. So that's how uh, it works with fire alarms. Manual call points, they will start to flash red. But all the other smoke detectors, they will start to give a color in the area that they cover. Uh, but still on the Cardex, you have old type detectors. They're green. They're normal smoke detectors only. And there is no temperature yeah. reading uh, oh. here. And also, as you can see here, you have a legend. So here you can see the, the status of the detectors. Smoke detector, normal is green. Multi is blue, in normal status. So pre-warning is orange, alarm is, uh, is red. And just now the loop on the bridge here is dis disabled. That you will see it's grey. Okay? And here you will always have the disable enable window available. You click on that one, you will always see what kind of detectors is disabled. And if do you would like to, uh, we can take, uh, I can show you disabling and enabling now. Let's see. Like this cabin. If you like to disable that cabin, you can right click on the mouse, you get a disable enable menu, then you get it here, mm -hmm. and you can um, disable for how long, you ta uh, long time you want, so one hour, and press confirm, it changes to grey, yes. and after one hour now it will enable by itself. Yeah. But if you like to enable it, you can uh, right-click again, disable enable, and it enables immediately. And can I disable one more time immediately? Yeah. Just before disable enable. Uh -huh. Disables. Uh, another function here is uh, over here. It's called multi-select. So if you click on multi-select. You can select all those detectors and then disable enable. It will disable all of them. Okay, and same way uh, back again.
Um, and if you would like, you can zoom in and out with those buttons using the mouse, or you can hold the shift and use the scroll. You can zoom out all the way, or uh, in, if you like. To go back to normal zoom state, you press this one, and you get uh, the best uh, zoom yes. view. Okay? That is a normal operation, and you can't do Can anything. you still actually change anything in the GA? No. It's not now. Yeah, I can change... Uh, I, just, I just saw this, um, these two cabins up here. But anyway, you, you get the number when you press it, right? Yeah, that's the ID. Uh, you get the number when you press it. That's 14, yeah, because it, it only says Commodore, you need the cabin number. Yeah, but... Uh, but it's up there. Up there. Yeah. To be honest, from the beginning, when we made the GA, we should have removed all the... Uh, yes, the text. number two. Yeah. Yeah. But now I have done it for all the, the big areas, and all the small, but not for yeah. the cabins. No, but... Yeah. So... Um, yeah, but it, it's still okay, actually. Yeah. yeah. So that is the... Uh, you can't do anything wrong here, really. Uh, let's say if you... If you do something, uh, this won't be visible yeah. when I leave. If something is like this, yeah. you always have on this menu, you have the reset screen. Wow. I will always Very go back to the good. normal view. Yeah. And for op uh, operation, number two, operate. That is the normal uh, state here. Then you can acknowledge. And you can reset. So if you're gonna do something else, like configure something, like the electrician, mm -hmm. you need to go into configure, and then it's a password, yeah. which is EL for electrician. So then you put a password and you know. Don't tell you anybody. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but still, to do something, uh, some big changes is for, and that is only for us. Yeah. So that is. A and the password is. <laughs> Especially Carol. <laughs> Don't tell Carol anything. I'm sorry, is there something if you like reconnect all so you could just press just before departure maybe? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to show you here now. It's yeah. uh, We have something called uh, mm. uh, Detector Group Manager. I think maybe you would like that. Because here you can make a group of detectors you like yeah. to disable and enable yeah. many times. Yeah. So an example can be we just make a new group and I call it uh, test because I want you to make the real groups by yeah. yourself so you don't have to do it. And then I click on the detector I want. Uh, select. Select. And then they come into the group. I just press OK. And then in the disable enable, you will have the groups listed here. Yeah. So, so you can just press on the group and for how long you want to disable it and confirm. And the same thing when you want to enable again. So I guess for Cardex and things like that, that might be a good. Uh, it's it's done in the workshop, right? Yeah, there is a push button, I think. Push button. What about this uh, switch? Is it still working with the contact? Yeah, yeah, it's still working. So you have two opportunities here now. You can make a group for it or you can still use the switch. And if we will turn now, we will see in the same time. Yeah, in the final. You too. You'll see them here. Now you see. Correct. Correct. Okay. It's starting to uh, disable. You get all of them in the list here. You can go to the card deck and you see if it changed to grey. Mm -hmm. So if you enable again now, which... Well, I believe what, what Michael was asking is that you have one button to reset yeah. all. Yeah, all five detectors will go back to normal. Yeah, yeah. reset. But if it's uh, but you will not enable. Oh, yeah, ah, no, no. Ah, yeah, well, when you disconnect. Yeah. Push one button, reset. No. Can it be made? No. No, it's not possible. Well, of course, you can make a, you can make, a, uh, make a group of yeah. all detectors yeah. on the whole vessel yeah, okay. to disable and everything, but that won't work very well, I think. So, no, but I think the most important is that when, as Michael said, just before departure, we yeah. will be able to push 
make sure that entire vessel is operative. Mm. All detectors has been reset uh, and, and are in operation. No, you actually have to go into this disable enable window and see if something is disabled or not. Mm. But it, it also looks easy to get to. Yeah, and you can just click here uh, on the one you want to enable. So you can, with three clicks, you can enable everything. Because normally, when everything is enabled, this list is empty. Yeah. It's nothing here. Yeah. So like before departure, you can just go over here, click on the disable enable, and you will see if anything mm. is disabled. Well, I have to take them one by one. And then no, no, you can no, choose all of them. You can by choose all of them. All of them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can just drag the mouse. Oh, okay. uh, click on one and drag the mouse. But I think it's better if you make some groups here that yeah. you like to do yeah. every time. It's much easier. Also for the codec, instead of having a huge list of fire detectors which have been disabled, then have just one group it's yeah. called fire de you no, will, codec. Sorry. You will mm -hmm. still see the detectors here, so, okay, they will still but uh, you will see that the group is disabled. Yeah, okay. So because you have the group status, group yeah, yeah, because you have the group status here, now it says enabled. <coughs> so I can just click on it. Disabled for an hour, and then the group is disabled. And the group name you have here, so if you find a very good name for the different yeah. groups, that, uh, because you can put as many detectors as you want mm. in one group. Okay. Can you see the remaining time? Uh, if you click on it, uh, let me see. Mm, not here. Fourteen, fourteen. Sorry. Ah, sorry. Thank you. Let me see. I should see here. No, you don't see it here. Yeah, enable that. It's those two. So you don't see it on the group, but you see it here. They will enable at fifteen, fourteen. So it's one hour. Yeah. The same thing if I go here and disable this one. <coughs> now it's disabled for infinite time. Enables at 16, 15. Yeah. So it's a two hours. So any uh, manual disablement or group disablement, you will see the enable time here in the list. Okay. Yep. Uh, and then you have the history um, possibilities. <coughs> Uh, the report generator. Here you can make a lot of different reports. But let's say if you go to history, we want to see um, fire alarms for the last 24 hours. Generate report. Then just reset everything. So yeah. it's been no been any alarms at the moment. We can make the same thing for disablements. This is the, the group, for example. Mm -hmm. Current disablements, general report. You will get all detectors that are disabled. And you can print or save <coughs> or whatever. Yeah. On which printer? No printer uh, so far. <laughs> some, some, some in there. So here you can, uh, you can uh, make a lot of different reports. So now this is the status right now, all uh, abnormal situation. So loot disabled. We will have everything that is not normal here now, the faults and everything. Can you also make a report of 
detectors that like need to be changed because the you know, the value is getting high or something, uh, it's getting dirty, so you can yeah you can check but them. Uh, poor condition. Yeah. yeah, but this system now is a little bit different from the old one. Yes. So uh, well, in a in the cabin. Yeah. What happens if uh, passenger take down the, the detector? You get a fault message. Fault message. Yeah. So the cabin will flash or? Uh, only the detector will flash. Yeah. And uh, also uh, come a text here uh, that the detector is missing. So it's two ways to see it. Is it the, the same kind of alarm that, that we are used to? Yeah, that's okay, my... Okay, can uh, we erase it a little bit? Yeah, the, it's an alarm on the computer. Yeah. It's been disabled right now. Uh, it's two alarms. It's uh, more like a cowbell. That's a fire alarm. Yeah. And it's a beep. That's uh, the fault. And it'll beep there as well. The same Can time. we hear a sample? Because I think it. But compared to the old one, it needs to be. Yeah. To it's be higher. Not, it's not higher. Well, you can also. <coughs> I think it's better you play around with yes. it because you can't do any big uh, No, no, mistakes. that's more than sufficient. We are happy. I, sorry. Yeah. I also saw here there is opportunity to test from here to send a test signal on our sensor. Test mode? No, it's test mode only. If you have test mode on and you go and test it, it won't give any alarms. Mm -hmm. it just show up as an alarm here. Ah, so we cannot switch on the light and the sound from here to uh, the cabin. That we can check because you have yeah, the uh, choice of lead here. So I can check. Yeah, and also lead on and so on. Yeah. Also, so so I check that. Check okay. The bridge. Yeah. Uh, we can test it because. Uh, can we test one on the bridge? I never heard the alarm from the center. It's the same right now because there's uh, a oh, okay. loop. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, we can do somewhere else. In this uh, crew, oh, the passenger <coughs> cabins uh, when we're testing is always flashing light and we. Uh, can hear the sound, but no. we during the test we have to reset every three sensor tested. We have to reset, otherwise, you will receive alarm, but you will not see any signs of it. That is what. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, but regarding this testing, I was on the ship, we had this, we could print a test of all detectors, mm -hmm. and then you could see the value on each one. Mm -hmm. And then we, we, there was this uh, manual who said that between this and this was okay. Yeah, yeah. and then it's exceeded. You had to change it. You know? Yeah, but that's with the, uh, the the old system, like here. You could yeah. do that.